Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Josh Weinfeld here with Music Marketing TV. And today I'm really excited to talk about one of my favorite new features in Synthesizer V Studio Pro 2, which are the smart pitch curves. So you may notice that compared to version one of Synthesizer V, we actually no longer have the choice of what's called manual mode for pitch editing in Synthesizer V Studio. But I promise you, do not fret. I actually want to show you why I really like the way that they've designed this new feature in the smart pitch curves mode and why I find it more natural and a little bit easier to work with than the previous version uh, of Synthesizer V. Rather than just talking more about what it does and how it works, I actually want to take a quick example and just show you how I actually use the smart pitch curves in the new version of Synthesizer V Studio Pro. So let's dive into it. So I have this super short example up here in Synthesizer V that I wanna play for you. And then we're gonna talk about some ways that we can use smart pitch curves uh, to kind of enhance the performance of our singers. So let's start from the beginning here. So just a super quick, you know, little funky example. I'm actually using some of the new voices. We have Felicia 2 and Natalie 2 in here as well. Um, so let's dive into some of these uh, smart pitch curve edits. The first thing I want to highlight is this little let's go that I created here, kind of like an ad lib performance. And I'm just going to play this solo for you. Let's go. Come on now. And to enter the smart pitch curve modes, uh, what I actually do is come up in here in the piano roll. And I have these two buttons here, pitch control points mode and I also have pitch control curves mode. So these are the two that we're gonna take a look at today. And if you're not seeing any of these curves at all in your piano roll, you can actually click here and it'll show and hide the uh, curves kind of like you would in a program like Auto-Tune or Melodyne, something like that. I'm just gonna press one of these and you'll see that it's kind of brought up this uh, these green lines and dots and we're gonna get into it in a sec. Um, but I wanna show you kind of a before and after of what I did to enhance this performance. So I can actually drag my cursor and delete everything that I've done, and I'm going to play it for you one more time. Let's go. Come on now. So so that was without the pitch curve edits. And now I'm going to undo that and put back my pitch curve edits. Let's go. Come on now. Let's hear it one more time without. Let's go. Come on now. Sounds kind of kind of weird and flat. And then here's with. Let's go. Come on now. I, say, I would just say that sounds a lot more human, funky, and real to me. Uh, so let's take a look at how we can actually use this. So the first thing I want to look at a little bit later in the example is this word O oh, right here. Uh, by default, Synthesizer V generated a kind of flat, no vibrato performance. It sounds like this. Oh, tonight is the night. It sounds okay, but it's a little bit monotonous for me. Um, so I want to show you guys this. Uh, pitch control points mode that I'm in right now. I can either double click on the pitch curve to actually add these little green dots on the curve itself. I'm going to undo that. Or I can actually select a, uh, a region here of the curve and actually it'll show me what Synthesizer V has already generated for me. So to start, I'm just going to use what Synthesizer V has generated for me. And you can see it's given me this little nice window here. And what I actually want to do is just increase the energy towards the end of this note. I want her to grow ooh, and maybe a little bit of vibrato and more diversity at the end of the note. So what I can actually do is just select these take this upper or lower uh, region box and just drag it up. And you'll see the pitch curve has now expanded and added some vibrato here. Oh, tonight is the night. That's cool. Now what I can actually do is select that again, just select these three and drag it closer to the end of the note so it doesn't start so early. Oh, tonight is the night. Now, what I can also do with these pitch curves, and one of the cool things about the update to Smart Pitch overall, is that I can drag my Smart Pitch edits anywhere in the performance. So I can take this window here and actually maneuver it to the front or to the back. So if I move it to the front here, oh, tonight is the night. I've actually moved my pitch curve edit to the front of the note rather than the end. And I don't necessarily like it as much, but it's an option if you wanted to move these. And you can actually move them throughout different notes too. So you can put this anywhere. I could move this to my note night over here. Is the night. 
That's amazing, that's super cool. The next spot I wanna look at also using this pitch control points mode is this second half of until. I wanna actually raise until a step higher, uh, but I don't wanna do it by just raising the note. I wanna kind of embellish the note that I've already put there. So here's what we have so far. We're gonna party all night long until the light. What I'm gonna do, select these guys right here, like I did before, and actually drag this up a whole step. So we have. We're gonna party all night long until the light. Now we actually have the note that I intended, that, that next step up, but it sounds a little flat. It sounds like it just kind of comes out of nowhere. So I wanna smooth it out using the surrounding points just a little bit. So I can grab just one of these points here and start to drag it down. So there's more of a smooth rounded edge to this embellishment. We're gonna party all night long until the light. Maybe even a little bit with this one too. Let me drag this over, try and create a smooth rounded edge. We're gonna party all night long until the light. Yeah, I'm starting to like that. Okay. We're gonna party all night long until the light. We're gonna party all night long until the light. We're gonna party all night long until the light. So what I actually wanted to do here is at the end of this until, it's it's a little bit subtle to hear, but there's almost a very quick vibrato. So until, like a little shake of the voice, kind of almost like what Post Malone might do um, to a more extreme uh, in his productions, but just as a little bit more realism. And I was making some very fine tuned edits using these pitch control points and then actually expanding it so that the um, vibrato was actually heard a little bit more prominently. Now to kind of take the opposite approach, we have this word long here that actually has a really wide deviation, a drift from the center of the pitch. And I actually want to counteract that. I want to keep it more smooth. And I could do that using a vibrato slider in our, our panel settings, but I want to actually show us the pitch control curves mode. We were just working with the points. Now these are actually curves. So what I can do, just as an example, I can take my cursor and start to draw over the pitch curve and make any kind of shape that I want with the performance. I'm going to undo that. But now specifically with this word long, I wanna just smooth it out a little bit and make it more uh, almost auto-tune-y, more, more centered on the pitch. So I'm gonna kind of continue this curve here and then just smooth it out slightly. Now we don't have this long, right? It's just more long. Here's without. Right, it's just a little more centered, a little more, uh, pointed on the pitch, uh, which is a good thing, I think, in this case. Now, something I also really like to do with the curves, with the drawing mode specifically, is uh, create long dips or rises in pitch. Um, and this is really good for that. For example, on this word night, I might want to actually night kind of tail off at the end of the word. Uh, let's play what we have so far. It is the night. Right, but what I, what I can do is actually grab this kind of in the middle of the note and Slide it down here. It is the night. We're gonna party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, a little more human, a little more uh, fancy in a way, right? Oh, tonight is the night. We're gonna party all night long until the light. Yeah, yeah, I really like that now. And again, like I said, what's so cool is that I can select all of these edits and move them around. So they're actually separate from the words themselves. So I can push them later into a performance. I could repeat them. They copy and paste with these. Um, so if I copy and paste this region somewhere else, I can manipulate those same pitch curve edits just later on. So I think it's actually a really more flexible way than the manual mode in the previous version of Synthesizer V. Now I think it's much more streamlined and actually more powerful once you get to once you get used to it. So I just want to play our whole example once without any of the pitch edits that we did, and then I'll put it back and we can hear the difference. Let's go, come on now. Oh, tonight is the night. We're gonna party all night long until the it's okay, let me put back my edits here, my edits here, and let's take a listen with everything that we uh, implemented. Let's go, come on now. Oh, tonight is the night. We're gonna party all night long until the light. 
I just think this is so much more fun. And as much as I like the first version of Synthesizer V in the manual mode and all of the uh, sliders that you had to control, this feels much more interactive to me that I'm actually drawing on the notes and dragging things around. But whenever I'm using these points and these curves, it's still kind of taking into account the realism of a human performance using um, the AI synthesis that it does behind the scenes. I just, I think it's really nice and sounds awesome. So if you haven't already, I would definitely encourage you to check out Smart Pitch Mode on Synthesizer V Studio Pro version two and see what you could come up with. I've had a lot of fun messing around with it. Thank you again for joining us on Music Marketing TV. And if you haven't already, please support the channel by giving a like to this video and subscribing. Stay tuned for more videos on Synthesizer V version two and all things music technology from Music Marketing TV. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.